Hello everyone, this is Bahala Gaming TV, and today we got a new game. We got another horror game. Uh, I know you guys like that Madison one I played before, so now we're going to do something else that's going to be interesting. This one is Alan Wake 2. So I played Alan Wake 1, and I think it was the... Uh, what was it? American Nightmare, I think it was? For the, the second part of it. But this is Alan Wake 2. Uh, I might go through the previous ones again at some point, but for now, let's see how this video does. All right, let's get into this. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. <laughs> what a great start. Right off with the booty. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. I don't remember the ending of the first Alan Wake game, so I'm a little lost here. I remember just bits and pieces. Oh my god, this guy is butt naked. He's even got the butt hair. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it moving. We're holding nothing back on this one. Hey man, I'm naked, I need help. All right, I had to up the brightness a little bit. It seemed a little dark. We gotta get that high quality butt cheeks right in the camera. I'm hearing noises in the background. Oh. Definitely hearing noises. I'd be terrified right now. Out here in the dark with no armor on. Straight cheeks, man. Calm down, El. Oh God, what was that? Oh, not the close-up of the butt. So much crack. That's a cool tree. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to bl uh, blur this out or something. I can sprint by toggling. Okay. Come on, cheeks. We gotta get here. Oh. There's the people in the darkness. I need a flashlight. Can I go up here? No. Alright, let's keep moving. 
Those are the darkness people. I don't got nothing to fight them. Oh, there's a light over there. And a trash can. Okay, let's hurry up and get to the light. Oh! There's people over there. We're not going that way. How are they in the light like that? There's a guy right there too. They're shooting at us. Come on, butt cheeks. Get a move on. How are they in the light like that? Oh. Dude, the light's not doing nothing to him. Oh, God. Butt cheeks that shot. Ready to fight. Oh, my goodness. I think I just saw more than butt cheeks on that one. Oh. These people are just killing us. How's this guy not down yet? Oh. Oh, no. Wow, they didn't hold nothing back on this one, did they? Yeah, this is definitely an adult game. Look at those graphics. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Are Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work.
A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. I really like the art style. It's pretty crazy. Look at the graphics. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Also, Crater Lake. Wasn't that the, the same place? I should take a look at that map. In the first one? Where they went, uh, him and his, I think, girlfriend went? Him and, uh, Alan and his girlfriend, and then they got caught by the witch. Map displays key locations. You're the one who wanted to... And we're over here. Aldrin Lake Shores. Okay. Hey, over here. And these graphics are crazy. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> yeah, we heard you. I could use a briefing and any witnesses at the crime. Let's, uh, let's go with the witnesses. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Oh, I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. All right, let's get a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good look. All right, let's take a look at the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. <sighs> Guess we better go find Thornton. Thanks, Mulligan. Be sure to try again. <laughs> Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. I need to think through the facts of the case. You can access the case board inside the mine place. The mine place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. This is pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that Stephen King movie. Um, Dreamcatcher. Where the guy used to go into his own mind. I think these uh, Alan Wake games are closely related, or not related, but referenced of uh, the Stephen King, so I'd imagine there's going to be some references here. Case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Previous Worth murders. taking another look. So we only know about the most recent one, with the naked guy on the beach. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga 
uh, to an analyze clues and progress the investigation. Use right thumbstick to move around and left and right trigger to zoom in. And there's a cursor. You're now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing B. Okay. Well, let's check out the previous murder. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Can we open that? Um, okay. I guess we can just hover over it. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. The victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Ted Lane, a dentist, and he was stabbed. Um, and he was bloating, bruise, uh, there was bloating, bruising on the wrists. Okay, so, probably left in the water. Uh, Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. And found in Cauldron Lake 2018, some organs missing, uh, predation, or predation. State of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. And then found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Piercy Wolf, store owner, bruised, heart removed. Large chest wound and stab wounds. This one doesn't say a heart removed. It says stab wounds. Then the body was bloated with a large chest wound. And then a heart removed. It looks like they escalated it over time. They started with a stabbing. Then they got uh, stabbed even more, and then they got the heart out. Murder method. Slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in the bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. Bruising on the wrist and legs. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belt down. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm due to the condition of the body. And which one was 2018? So the, the lady, Wendy Davis. And bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. All bodies experienced bloating. He did come out of the water. I don't know why. Killer profile. Talk to someone. Okay. Uh, victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos, a message from the killer maybe, or their art. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apart in common, and killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Maybe because they used a big blade. The goals get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. And cases, it looks like that's all we got there. Nice. It's pretty cool. You get to be a detective. We got the map. Undiscovered map. Look at that. So this is much bigger than I thought. Anything else in here? Unsolved mysteries. She's got wine in her mind. And teacups. Okay, so we can just press B to exit. You're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Look at that. Visiting the mine place does not pause the game. So if we're going there, we got to make sure we're in a safe place. Good to know. Somebody making a little camp out here? Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Let's get going. Let's get to that crime scene. What do we got here? Starting fires is prohibited. Please do not feed the wildlife. Leave no trace. See if we can find the body of the man we walked around here. So it looks like we got Stand ourselves around. a call. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Watch them knees. Fear peak. Mirror Peak, the mighty mountain in the distance, is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake. 
mirrored in all its inverted glory. Look at that. Getting down here to find the crime scene. Should be close by, I would imagine. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. It must be city folk. I happen to like nature, thank you. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Yeah, he really doesn't like nature, does he? Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. You got an old phone booth. All right. Looks like we got to go this way. Looks like we're getting close to Thornton. There's the general store. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Aldrin Lake General Store. Dry goods, groceries, and confectioneries. Oh. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Here we go. I'm gonna see the naked dude. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Uh, up on the D-pod allows Saga to see active clues. The key images can be selected with A and placed on the case board. Aldrin Lake murder scene. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. All right. Need to see if it's linked to the killings we were here to investigate. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Investigate the crime scene. That's what we're doing. You're now free to examine the case board. Okay. That's where we're at now. Where'd all the other case files go? I guess that's all we got now. Let's go back. Alright, you can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Looks like we got the heart here. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. I think that's all the evidence. Let's go back to the case board. Newly discovered clues can be placed on uh, onto the open ca uh, question. Okay. Consistent with previous murders. Well, if we're going to do that, we're going to go with the uh, major chest trauma. I would imagine that is consistent with the previous ones. I don't think these are consistent, though. Cargo straps used to restrain the victim. I think there may have been restraints. Maybe that was caused by the swelling. But then again, the bloating was all from water. The heart might be similar. <laughs> Bruising indicti uh, indicates victims were alive when restrained matches other cases. Okay. 
I think that's it. Nope. Where do I put this one? Okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. So now we got the victim and the killers. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new, or new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing Y for goals. Okay. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Investigate the crime scene. Okay, so what did it say here? Murder matches previous case, but interrupted. May find some new leads this time. Ah, uh, okay, well, so those two people that were there, we're probably going to have to go investigate, uh, interview them. They probably scared them off, and that's why they left the heart. All right, let's get back to it. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Oh, I think we got footprints. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Yeah, there's definitely multiple people. Got trash. Looks like there's some more evidence over here. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Or maybe they're using the cooler to transport the heart. It's a black market. Yeah. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? All right, we're back to the case board. Let's see what we can do with these. Those are for later, but we can put the footprints here. The killers. Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. Okay. And the other ones we need for later. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Or that could have been separate. That could have just been people out here with a tripod. Bird watching. All right, what else are we looking for? Maybe we should talk to the detective. Or not the detective, but this guy. Thornton. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Robert Nightingale. That's a cool last name. So the victim... Thornton, uh, victim is Robert Nightingale last seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. So now we can put it up here. No one's heard of the guy for 13 years. Why surface now? Where has he been? And he's an FBI agent, and we were brought here coincidentally, so I wonder what that's about. Maybe they're here for us now. One more FBI agents. All right, what next? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. What happened after he got fired, or so he's been missing since 2010? Let's go with uh, after he got fired. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. So he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. 2010, huh? Is that the original Alan Wake? Alright, what else are we looking for? Looks 
looks like there's blood on the wall over here. Or no, that's just paint. And then up there is where we saw those people. And then the footprints led this way. I wonder if there's anything else over here. What's going on over here? Got ourselves some garden professional. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Got a hatchet. Looks like this stuff got knocked over in a hurry. What's this? A creepy twig sculpture? Two triangles. It's the double Illuminati. Okay. Ooh, flashlight time. That's a nice flashlight. Look at that. Got tarps on the windows. Ooh, double triangle on the wall. And look at that. Okay, so that's something important. Got ourselves an elk. More of those triangles. See what this hey is about. Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. All right. More triangles. Everywhere we look, there's uh, those triangles on the walls. Must be the symbol of that cult. Got the bathroom. Uh, of course, you gotta have the triangles in the bathtub. This person likes hunting. Or maybe just looking at the animals. Oh, we got some over here. What do we got here? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkhole it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and much more man-made? Intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. First drawing. Water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing. Water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines. Interesting. You got that conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorist stuff going on. And then why is this window open and the other ones aren't? I guess that's all that's in here. Unless I miss something. Let's get moving. Oh, there's another thing here. Infused, follow the steps, wash hands, take chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. Oh, there's a lock. Look at that. Okay. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here. Can we? Uh, yeah. What's inside? In a second. These, uh. I take a look around for a way to open this thing. These triangles on the walls definitely have a factor. Okay, there's got to be a pattern. So if we look here, those triangles are sideways. Those ones are that way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the note said. Let's go to the note again. Wash hands, take chicken out of fridge, and take a nap. Okay, so we gotta go wash hands in the sink. Unless that's the bathroom uh, sink. So wash hands. Let's just go to the sink in the kitchen. So wash hands. We gotta go to the fridge, and we gotta go to the bedroom. Okay. Where's the sink? I don't see any... There's a time thing. Ah, here we go. So wash hands first. That's gonna be the two triangles connected to each other like that. Pointing at an angle. Switch that one. And it's that one, I think. I hope that stays. It looks like it does. Okay, take chicken out of the fridge. Which would be... I'd imagine that one. 
It's the same symbol, isn't it? No, that one's upwards. I think that's the only one I see around here. Nope, right there. Triangles are facing each other vertical. And we go down here. Okay, that's already there. Now let's see what the last one is. I know I can probably just guess it, just keep it going, but I kind of like the whole detective work here. It's kind of fun. And the triangles uh, looking opposite of one another. Horizontal. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, there you we go. do. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, we just made a joke about trees, so... Ooh, ammo? And what's that? Stash found near Cauldron Lake. We just got something else. See, we can use it on the caseboard. Uh, Casey Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Uh, more about the victim. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. All right. So we know who the victim is. We can't use any of this stuff at the moment. Let's head back. Maybe take a little bit of a wider look around here. Anything back here? That's the garbage. Back to the victim. Uh, now what? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Okay, we are back here in the mine place, and we got that last piece of evidence. Heavy blood splatter on the table. The killers. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Multiple assailants present. Messy scene. Crime of passion. Premeditated. I'm pretty sure it was premeditated. Or spontaneous. I don't know about that. Looks like they were waiting for him. We got a tripod, so it looks like they set that up beforehand, probably. Looks new. Bought by the killers. Why? It's a mounted camera. Weird. Snuff stuff. Okay, and we got the cooler. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Where did the victim come from? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Oh, that's cool. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind, uh, mind place to get inside the heads of the suspect and victims. Do I get to go and do this and go through like, like a whole playthrough? That's kind of really cool, actually. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. And now let's do the profiling. Using our intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Missing person, ritual murderer, Nightingale. I would like to say missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How did she know that? Well, I guess besides what his skin looks like. Uh, ritual murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. 
Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. I would imagine we need to go to the lake and see what's going on down there. I think that was it. Goals, investigate the crime scene, profile the victim. Thought we already did that. Nightingale again. Oh cool, we can go from place to place. Here we go, Nightingale came from the Cauldron Lake. I can feel the Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years, where has he been? Well, that guy was talking about conspiracies. Maybe there is something under the lake. Maybe he's not as wrong as we thought. Check the lake shore. Sweet. Let's go do it. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. All right, Thor, and you stay there. We got things to do. this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Wasn't this open when we were running as a nightingale guy? Oh, look at the footprints. There's something here. Let's look at the footprint. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Let's see There's what this a piece says. Of paper on the ground. Oh, there it goes. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. All right. That's pretty cool. That's uh, based on, uh, well, that comes from the first game. Now we got those manuscript pages. I guess we can look at them. One out of six. Okay. Play narration or read. We already heard it. What's it say on the bottom? Leading them on an invitation. How could they not accept? Okay. Back to profiling. And now we got the page. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. 
inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must find out what. Wait a minute, they put something in his chest? I know they took the heart out, but what did they put into it? Baseboard, we got some more pieces. The victim came from. Footprints emerging from under the rock. We walked through a boulder, but it wasn't there last time. And the trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Okay, uh, asking the wrong questions. Anything else here? Nightingale has something hidden inside of him. There's more going on here. I'm seeing I need to examine the body. And then we also got the manuscript. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. No, oh, we're gonna have to dig in. It's going to get nasty. This is really cool. I'm loving this. Let's get back to it. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Oh, okay. So the morgue's gonna do it. I thought we were gonna have to go in there with our hands. What is with the hole there? We're we supposed to put our... Oh, it's the witch's ladle. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. Is that the witch lady from the first one who gave the keys to Alan? There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysteries, mysterious stories around the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree, named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. So is this cult, like, around this lady? Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Let's take a look around and see if we can find those manuscript pages before we go back. I have a feeling we're going to have to take a look around whenever we can. Some rope on the floor. I don't see anything in here. It's a cool little shack. Kind of creepy, though, with all the wind. And we got the witch's hut. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware her spirit may still haunt this place. Okay. So it's kind of like a tourist attraction now. All right, let's go back this way. There was like a little bridge right across the way. Might find uh, another piece of the manuscript. We want all the manuscript. Uh, what's this? Okay, let's, uh, read real quick. Friday. Midge told me today that her family is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright effing falls? Sunday, so I told her. She said, effing kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night. Again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something th uh, weird is going on down there. 
I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Okay. What do we got in here? Are those batteries? How do we open that? Flashbacks. Ah. Remember Ohio? Sure. The north side slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Okay, we got batteries. That's cool, though. Look at that. We got Logan's Charm increases maximum health. So we got some stuff that can actually increase it. We got a weapon, handgun ammo, a trauma pad, and a battery pack. And a charm bracelet. Okay. And a flashlight. Very cool. So there's a little bit, like, some RPG elements to this, which is cool. Maybe we should be looking around for that kind of stuff, is too. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Old case. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey mm -hmm. hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. What's this? Manuscript fragments. Lunchbox found near the Cauldron Lake. Fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. What? Pistols. Um. Oh, look at that. We need a bunch of them. We only got one. So hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Nice. And increase the magazine size by 50% and land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Yeah, look at that. We got even more elements of upgrading. I like that. Let's go to the case board real quick. I think we found something. Cases. Alex Casey's lunchbox. Oh, it's a different case. Point of interest cases track object and information the saga has acquired to chart election progress. Okay. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Bright Falls area. So we got lunchbox. Found near Witch's Hut at Cauldron Lake. Bright Falls area. Cauldron Lake area. And what's this one? Who left these? Maybe it's the Cauldron Lake area. Yep. Got it. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake. What the hell are these? Another... It, uh, we got another case to solve. That's awesome. Let's get back to it. Now we gotta get back to the body. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. Oh, <laughs> uh, we found a box out here. Camping do's and don'ts. What's that? Painkillers. Pain medication restores a small amount of health quickly. And replenishes additional health over time. Oh, we didn't read the do's and don'ts. Okay. Let's get moving. Back to the body. Before we get to the body, I did not search the general store. Let's take a look around. It's probably an important thing to search. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Someone's got a sleeping bag over here. Ew, is that some, like, old milk? Ooh, you know that's gonna be nasty. Okay. I'm not seeing nothing yet. Got a shooting target. Oh, it's like... Oh, they got darts on it. Oh, someone was sitting here, it looks like. With binoculars. 
I didn't get a last. Calm down. Ooh, what's this? Monday. Uh, some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found. But some were compromised by fielder. Uh, note to self train the fielder. Nothing to report. Some animals regular on Tuesday. And Wednesday, hunters out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye out on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Yeah, this... I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. This is some serious stuff out here. Oh, they got a bunch of laundry. So this is the general store. I guess people would bring their laundry here. For those of them that don't have their own laundry facilities. And this door is locked. Oh, there's something on the table. Collect. Large amounts of... What did that say? Looks like people might have been gambling here. Hanging out. Okay, that must have been for something different. But we got it. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Alright, let's head back to the body. Gotta tell him to get it to the morgue so we can see what's inside him. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Let's get the body back to town. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. So that's where the key is. Nice. And Thanks. Oh, oh dear, Diner. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. So, oh dear, Diner was from the first Alan Wake, and so was uh, the Deer Fest, which is when we were showed up that in that town too. Shortcut key. So I'm remembering that. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. If I'm remembering right, that guy... I think he's Max Payne. Like the original from Max Payne 1 and 2, and Remedy did make those games. Pretty sure that's who he is. That's cool. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's up here? A lunchbox again. Nice. Who's leaving these out here? We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. There we go. We got two fragments now. Awesome. Let's go back down. Seems like they're hanging a lot of these different, like, dream catchers out here. So definitely look in every nook and cranny in this game if we want to find stuff. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a... A snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Or are there a cult for that witch? That makes the most sense, at least. Got a key for all the gates. These are some nice gates out here. Look how tall they are. Put some money into that. He's going that way. Well, I'm going this way. Oh, can we go like way out in the woods? No. Okay. Oh, there's something over there, though. What's this? Oh, a bird watcher. The rarest wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. 
I'm finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carrying on the wind, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned. I might have to find another spot somewhere safer. The sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back in fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just at the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off it. This is why trees are better than people. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. So annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook to camp at. But I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago. But they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. So a bird watcher out here and he's hearing all sorts of stuff. I like the side stories. If you guys haven't uh, joined this channel before and uh, watched some of my walkthroughs, I like to read everything. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Hey guys, that was the end of episode 1 for Alan Wake 2. I'm really enjoying this game and I like the detective angle on it. The graphics are amazing and the gameplay is a lot of fun. And I'm really getting invested in the whole finding out what the crime's about and the story elements of it. So I'm definitely going to continue this and it's going to be a long one. I think the game is between like 16 and 20 hours or something like that. So there's going to be quite a few episodes. I'm going to try to keep the episodes between maybe 30 and 45 minutes. And a little bit longer if it, uh, the, the part of the story calls for it. Thanks again for supporting the videos. If you guys enjoy this, hit that like button so I can spread my videos to more people so they can find enjoyment as well. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.